Welcome to this short video that will cover how to add a consumption based service item to a customer's subscription in NetSuite using the Zone Advanced Billing module provided by Zone and Company. I'm starting here on a subscription for Absolute Inc. This is for a one year contract and you can see there's no service items currently set up on this contract. So I'm going to add a subscription item now and we'll call this consumption usage. I'm now linking into the native item master and I'm choosing a SKU that I have called usage. And you'll notice here that when I choose that I have a lot of defaults that get pre-populated. Um, there are settings on the item master that allow me to do that. Um, it's also defaulting to the same one year term that's on the contract, but I could have this starting mid month or in a future month or even ending before the end of the contract term. So this is currently set up as a usage based item and I now need to give it a price book. So I'm going to go ahead and give it some generic tiers. And if I pull this price book open, we can quickly take a look at what the system would calculate as I bring in usage. So within these tiers, and I'm going to go into edit mode here, I have three tiers. So from zero to five, we're at 499, five to 10, 475, and over 10 are at 450. And using the pricing type of linear, that means if I used, let's say 11 gigabytes, I would multiply 11 times 450, or the system would. If I chose marginal, it would actually be a blended rate, where the first portion would be at 499, then 475, and then 450 over 10. And if I had chosen fixed rate per tier, that would simply be bill me $450. If I used 11 or 12 or 13, don't multiply the rate by the quantity that's brought in. Going back to the subscription item, we can see that NetSuite has created 12 billing events and we can see the service start date and end date for each of those months. We can see the bill date, which in this case is in arrears on the following of the next month. But all the amounts are zero because this is a variable item. We don't know what to bill the customer until we feed NetSuite some usage for it to rate against the price book we were just looking at. Now I can bring in usage in one of two ways. From the subscription item, if I were doing this manually, I could simply click new usage data and I could be populating the date, the quantity, and the identifier of how I would link it to this particular subscription item, which in a lot of cases is an alphanumeric um, ID from a proprietary system or uh, wherever we're, we're pulling the usage from if it's via CSV upload or uh, an API. In this demo I wanted to show you how we could do this via an upload, so we're going to do that now by using the import functionality. And before they do the upload, I wanted to at least show you what this record looks like. So I simply have four columns. I have the subscription item, and this is just looking at the internal ID in NetSuite, the date, 9-30-2018, so it's the end of the period, a quantity of eight with the usage detail. So we could be bringing in usage you know, once every day, once every week, it would know how to aggregate it over the periods. Um, also, in a lot of cases, we're not using the internal ID of the subscription item. We're using some other custom field that we would create um, and add to the subscription item that would represent some ID you may already have in your proprietary system. All right, so I have a saved CSV import for usage data. It's referencing our custom record. I'm going to go ahead and select my September usage upload. I'm going to be adding new data. We can see that it's already been pre-mapped. I can simply click next. I'll run this. It's just asking me if I want to resave the saved import, but I don't. I didn't make any changes. And now if I go back to the subscription item that we were looking at, we should see some usage detail here. So I have one record for 930 for the quantity of eight. And then if I go back to my charges and I actually rate this, We'll see here that the first service item from 9.1 to 9.30 has now been updated to a quantity of eight at a rate of 4.75 because that's the tier that they achieved. Um, so maybe eight gigabytes, for example, and they will now get a bill on 10.1 for $3,800. At this stage, this charge is now ready to be billed to Absolute Inc. Thanks for watching this short video.